government has on Wednesday received an additional 418 returnees from Saudi Arabia, making it a total of 1,077 returnees in less than three days. Speaking to journalists at the FCT Hajj camp in Abuja, Ambassador Bolaji Akiremi, Director Consular and Legal Department in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, said as part of the government's efforts to providing a smooth rehabilitation process for the returnees, individuals are receiving 20,000 naira each to enable them start a new life. Since the emergence of COVID-19, which has ravaged the world's economy, Nigerians living abroad have been economically destabilized, amounting to various kinds of hardship as a result of loss of livelihood. Hence, giving rise to the cry for help in Nigerian embassies as victims have constantly demanded to be returned to their motherland to surmount difficulties. Proud to this, thousands of Nigerians have been evacuated in barely two months even as more are still begging for help from the Nigerian government. Ambassador Bolaji further noted that all the agencies involved to ensure rapid testing method for COVID-19 detection is making efforts to guarantee their health status before releasing them to their relatives. The first set that came in January, they were here for eight days minimum, but now they are just going to be here for three days. They will arrive the first day. The second day we will do the capturing, then we will do the testing. And then on the third day, they get their result and they will be ready to move. And making provision for a new life where the federal government is providing 20,000 per person of adult at least from 10 years old upward for two reasons to transport them, part of it, back to where they came or their state, and also to be able to start a little uh, survivor, maybe start a little business. Period of two months now, we have received now over 3,000 Nigerians. The focus is not just on Saudi Arabia. We also just two weeks ago received the uh, island facilitated returnees from Libya. We had 170 of them that came in two batches. And then we also received returnees from other places from Germany, and we are expecting from South Africa. And so government is doing everything to ensure that every Nigerian who are in crisis outside the shores of Nigeria and that desire to be lifted are airlifted. Meanwhile, some of the returnees allege that Nigerian embassy in Saudi Arabia has not been responsive to protecting Nigerians, despite measures put on for urgent intervention by the government. Thus, calling on the government to rescue true citizens rather than citizens of the Niger Republic. They are there to support us, but they are not supporting us. They are just there. Ghana's other countries, they support their countries. We work, I myself, I worked, and I've not, I've not been paid, and I was jailed. And the embassy were aware of it. As described, before I left, it's even worse for me to die late. I've not feeding myself and my son. So I went, I went there, I told the embassy, this, this is the situation. They didn't have any fire for me till I got to the prison. I called the when I was I called the consulate. When I was in the cell, that is what happened. He told me I'm an idiot. If you standing right before me, I'll say it. You are very stupid. Did you did you send me to Saudi Arabia? I did not. I called the I went to back to the embassy. He has nothing to say to it. All these people, they are they are coming, they are coming to, all these people, all these houses. They are not they are not Nigerians, they are Nije. I can see tell you, they are Nije. Nigerians are there, they are suffering. I was there for two months plus in the deportation camp. We see now we have 390 something returnees. We have 20 Eurobars. What did we do to them? Why are they suffering us? What's, what's the answer for Humura? They don't come outside again. So people are there, they are suffering there. Our ladies are there, they are suffering there. And if, if they're ready to deport, they won't deport there. They won't deport Nigerians. They are deporting the J. And once they get there, they'll, they'll take their body. They'll tell you, I'm not, I'm not uh, Nigerians. What you talk? They say, I, I'm not a Nigeria, I'm Nigeria. Responding to some of the claims, the DJ Naptip, Mrs. Iman Suleiman Ibrahim, and the Director, Consular and Legal Department of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ambassador Bolaji Akiremi, stresses that as part of the rehabilitation process, 
the agency is working on proper profiling of all the returnees, even as they vowed to investigate issues on assault of victims from the foreign ministry. If you have a quick rundown of our profiling from January till, till now, in January 2021, we were able to profile 1,250 Saudi Arabia and Jews that returned from Saudi Arabia. In March from Libya, we profiled 100... Our officers also go there to do exactly what they are saying now, profiling. Because you don't just say somebody is in Nigeria and then we go there, we go and pack the person. No. We will also have to ask, do you have passport? And then many Nigerians claim their passport is lost. So you see a lot of them coming with ETC. We don't just issue emergency travel certificate. We ask, have you ever been issued passport before? Some of them will claim, oh, they don't know their passport number. So we get them to do their fingerprint. Because once you put your fingerprint, we can get your passport number anywhere. With the permission of the Honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs, what you have said here will not go uninvestigated. Now, I will meet with those who have said this and ensure that they tell us specific mission. And if you have names, let us know. But I want to tell you that all our foreign service officers are well trained, well cultured. Now, many a times people see people in mission and think they are foreign service officers. We take responsibility for everybody there. Some of them are locally reserved, I mean locally recruited uh, staff. And sometimes you, you don't know their nature. So I cannot uh, say that what they are alleging is not correct. But I'm saying that bring it up formally and we will look into it. The returnees are expected to reunite with their families within three days after being certified free of COVID-19. Vincent Okushi reporting for Quality Television.